Hi everyone, it's Misty here. As you can see by the title of today's video, I am sharing with you the That Taupe collection <laughs> from ColourPop. So in my last video or my welcome to this channel video, I mentioned that my plan <laughs> going forward for 2020 was to only buy cool toned neutral palettes and not five days later, <laughs> ColourPop announced this That's Taupe collection and I bought the whole damn thing. And if you follow me on Instagram, which will be linked down below, it's just misty pans because I'm so creative. Um, <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this, that I got it. So um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna show you, share with you in this video. And then yesterday, they launched this something Fox. So foxy, that's so foxy, stone cold foxy, <laughs> foxy roxy, foxy something. Let's see if I can find, let me see if I can find it. Stone cold fox. <laughs> so I went ahead and bought that palette, which I, I probably shouldn't have, but they were having it. It was on sale and I don't know if ever ColourPop came out with such a big palette and immediately put it on sale because I think the last time they had a sale like this, like the So Jaded palette or the Bare Necessities was not included, this time it was. And then I also picked up the Soft Ivory, their new illuminating illuminator. So that will be coming whenever ColourPop decides to ship it. But that's not what this video is about. This video is gonna be a try on haul um, of the entire collection minus the body oil. So number one, I hate the packaging. <laughs> I know a lot of people are like, oh, I love the packaging. I hate it. I grew up in the country, like in the country, and snakes were probably one of my greatest fears. I can remember sitting down on the ground with my cousin with our legs in front of us watching the little quail babies with their mamas and then all of a sudden looking down and there was a snake crawling over our ankles. I remember us having, this is the body oil. This is a dry oil I think. It's very sparkly. I didn't need this <laughs> but I picked it up anyway so we'll see what it's like. Anyway, so I... I had more than a dozen run-ins with snakes while living in the country, so I, not a fan. <laughs> so this packaging doesn't scream yay to me, but I do like that it has some embossing, so it makes it a little shiny, you can see it there. So that's the sole body. And then I have the actual palette. So what I will do is I'll insert the picture of it unboxed that I put on my Instagram and then I will show you swatches of this compared to the Juvia's Place, the Topes, because that is one I got not too long ago that um, will be the closest comparison. I do have a few more cool tone palettes that if you guys are interested, let me know and I'll show you everything that I have in my collection. And um, that's why I probably didn't need that Stone Cold Fox because from what I understand is um, a lot of those colors are in, <laughs> are in all of the cool tone palettes that ColourPop has, which is probably no joke, but it is what it is at this point. So I have the Super Shock Shadows, one of these is in Koosh, one of these is in Ritz. From what I understand, these are just repackaged. These were actually um, ones that were discontinued. And I, again, I'll show you up close of these. And there are tons of people <laughs> who've already swatched this. The one that I, oh, oh no, it broke, what? Well, that is Ritz. It broke. <laughs> it literally just come, came out in a disc outside of the palette. That is disappointing, but it is what it is, right? So, Makeup for Fun 
if their name isn't in the in their channel name, I hardly ever remember their names. But she's the one that I saw do swatches of the Stone Cold Fox in comparison to this um, Flutter by Mad for Moms, Mod for Moms, and then the Smoke Show, the Nine Pan Black and Silver one. So again, did I really need that palette? No. Am I going to be mad that I got it? No. It is what it is. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to start with, I'm going to finish off my complexion because why not? So you're probably like, Misty, you never have your complexion done before your eyes. I can't attest to this ColourPop formula, but the other ColourPop formulas I've tried, like I have two ColourPop um palettes in my pan those eyeshadows I don't have any fallout from them so I didn't really mind putting on my face first so I'm going to be using seismic which is the um highlighter it is beautiful it is a little glittery in the pan but it doesn't come across as glittery on the skin the other one I have is out of quartz but this is a bit more pinky, like a mauvey tone. Oh God, they're so creamy. And so I felt like it was a little too dark, but maybe we'll mix the two. So pretty. So my shirt today, <laughs> some of you are gonna say, Misty, why are you wearing cool tones with a warm torn shirt? And some of you may recognize that I chose it because it's basically neutral. So, Warm tones are colors that have red or yellow in them. So think oranges and rusts and, and more red browns, those kinds of things. Cool tones are normally ones that have more blue. But when you have a color that seems to have an even amount of each, then you get what I consider neutral. So this to me is neutral because for me, it has an even number of blue and red. Um, if you are a crafter, this is very comparable to the color Mary Molo from Stampin' Up, which they have classified as a neutral. So I, I completely 100% agree that this is a neutral because again, it's when you have a color that has equal amounts of red and blue or what we've deemed neutrals like browns and, and silvers and those kinds of things. But I'm calling this a neutral. You can agree with me or not agree with me. It's okay. But that is also why I have this shirt on today. Plus it's what I wore this morning. You may see some oranginess on my neck. That's iodine that won't come off just yet. But I went and had um, a facet injection. Yeah, I'm just gonna, a facet injection in my four areas of my cervical spine today, this morning. And it was rainy and kind of cool. And between you and me, I don't wear a bra when I go in because I just have to take it off. <laughs> so I like to wear shirts that are a little bit bigger and a little warmer because sometimes it's kind of cold in there. Let's use the let's use the sponge. Those two together are actually pretty. So anyway, that's why I threw this one on. But you can see it looks pretty glittery on the sponge, but that glitter to me isn't coming off on the face that I can tell. Maybe a little bit. Dang, is it pretty though. God dang. I know not everybody loves these Super Shock cheeks, but I love these Super Shock highlighters. I just think they're so pretty. Oh look, this is snake. <laughs> this is snake too. Um, I needed a new mirror because my other one is really, it folds in half. And for someone who already has dexterity issues to have to flip around with that stupid um, mirror was giving me the blues. Ooh. 
I mean, that's just, that's just good. A little bit of glitter, but I don't really notice it. I'm not saying it's not there, but I don't, I don't really notice it. Mixing those two colors made a really pretty color. It may be a little, may have mixed it a little dark over here, but it's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. I liked it. So those are winners for me. So the next is going to be the eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to do a real simple eye look. I mean, come on, it's ColourPop neutrals and we know that they are, you know, neutral. <laughs> We know that they are pretty, pretty neutral. I may top it with one of the Super Shock shadows. I may top it with one of the shimmers in the palette. Like I said, um, I will swatch this and share it with you guys. I'm probably gonna do, I don't want a very complex eye look. So I think I'm just gonna go this in my crease and then one of these in the middle row on my lid. That's it. I'm using my color switch to clean off one of my brushes because this past week I dealt with a really bad pinched nerve in my lower back, my hip. Um, I have a spinal disorder that causes bullshit. <laughs> All the issues in the world. Um, it is hereditary and unfortunately genetic, whatever you want to call it. And there's nothing I can do for it um, now because my my neurosurgeon basically said it's going to be an entire body, like an entire spine surgery because of how it's acting and what it's doing. And your girl <laughs> just had back surgery last year and I am not ready for another one. So I went to the doctor today, the pain management doctor, and they did what's called a fa facet. I think it's a facet. Is that what they were calling it? But anyway, they did a four level cervical injection, a lidocaine, which is a numbing medication, and a steroid to help ease the inflammation in that nerve. Because that's kind of what a pinched nerve is. It's normally because of inflammation, or it could be because, you know, you've slipped a disc or something like that. So if this doesn't work, which it kind of is working, now I just need them to do the left side. <laughs> they can only do one side at a time. But if this works, then I'm gonna have them do the left side. But we've already done this in my lower back. And um, while it helped, It got a little worse. <laughs> um, I wasn't able to take my anti-inflammatory this week because of this procedure. And whoo, Nelly, that my body was like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> and I was like, I'm so sorry. I don't mean for it to happen like this, but it's got to. So yeah, anyway, all right, I'm gonna pop this one in the middle. This is pretty. So that was this morning. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, dang. This is with a dry brush. Holy smokes, that's beautiful. It's so pretty. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it. Whoa, that's like pretty. All right, I'm gonna bring in some on a finger. Dang. Whoa. That is gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would recommend just for these two shades.
So snake eyes and python. Okay, so I am going to use one of those super shock shadows. I'm probably going to use Kush. That is the one that did not break. <laughs> I think it's lighter than what I just put on my eye. There's the difference. So the darker is Snake Eyes from the palette. And then this one is Koosh. So it is a little bit lighter. I'm going to put this on the center. Oh yeah. I mean, it's the smallest difference, but it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. So yeah, this, um, the first two colors I put on definitely have more of a cool tone pink, like a mauve a very dusty mauve kind of over undertone, whereas that um, Koosh is definitely very much more um, of like a cool tone gold. So leaning more to more champagne or platinum. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring back in the highlighter. And again, this was in Seismic, and I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight. And then you guys, <laughs> I grew up in the 90s, the 80s and 90s. I graduated high school in 1996. I wore a brown lip. I was alive for that. <laughs> I lived it and even now I still gravitate toward neutrals that have a bit more brown in them so <laughs> talk about nostalgia if you didn't know I'm 43 and if I look younger thank you it's because fat don't crack and people don't believe me but it's the gospel according to Saint Misty no really it is it's a pretty well-known fact that if you are big and then you lose a bunch of weight, you could look older because fat is basically just filling in your wrinkles. I'm not saying that's good or bad. It just is. And I know a lot of people take offense when I call myself fat, but at the end of the day, it's just an adjective <laughs> and it's not an adjective that has any power over me so it doesn't bother me if it bothers you i apologize but i'm not going to stop using it because it has no power over me so geez all right i'm just going to add a little bit of this kind of little darker grayish On the lower lash line, not a whole bunch, just a little. And then I'm going to throw in some mascara off camera. And then we will move on to the lips and we'll be done. I got a little mascara on my eye. On my face, I mean. So I'm going to let that dry, then I'll flick it. Off. I forgot to set my face before I put mascara on, so I'll wait. So for lips, I have two glossy lips and then two of the lip sticks. The lippy sticks kind of look the same to me. The glosses definitely don't look the same. So this is in, say, oh, let's just stay on point. I'm like, what? That's the color. This is Ashton. Let my hand off. So 
So Ashton is um, brown. <laughs> and then we have, then we have whatever the other one is. Cool BFF. Ooh, your girl's got a headache. Which is more of a, oh dang. These are basically the same shades, except this one is a little darker. This actually looks a bit warm to me <laughs> in comparison, but what do I know, right? So yeah, let's go ahead and go with the first one. So I did use one of their Lux lip oils. I just bought the clear one. I like it. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, so I'm not a huge person who lines my lips. I'm not a huge person. I'm not someone who normally lines my lips is what I meant to say. Woo! <laughs> Taking me back. It's probably gonna make my teeth look brown. I try to stay on top of my teeth whitening, but honestly, I'm basically kind of fighting a losing battle between the medicine I take and then I drink coffee and tea and pop and soda, which I should give up all those, but one thing at a time, y'all. One other thing at a time. So this is the Ultra Glossy Lip. You have one that is more glitterly in Queen Cobra. And then you have one that is a bit more um, opaque, just a color that's in Rattler. I'm just gonna add the more glittery one to the mix. I will say that it is a bummer that ColourPop has switched to these kind of hard brush see oh that's not a good color for your lips <laughs> these kind of hard brushed um lips wands oh my word brushes you know i prefer much prefer a doe foot I mean, hell, even Shop Miss A glosses are, which are dollar, have, most of them have a doe foot. Just scratching that away. It looks like I have no mascara on my face, but I promise it's there. Okay, so, I'm gonna show you some of their former Cool Tom palettes, and then you can decide for yourself if this is one that you need. Excuse me. So Blush Crush. Blush Crush does have some warms, but this is very much a cool tone. This is somewhat of a cool tone, and I would classify uh, probably this kind of, one of the, maybe one of these as a little bit of a cool tone. Again, it's really gonna depend on you. But these two, for sure, are more cool, more cool tone. And those are the colors How Rouge and Cheek to Cheek. So that's the Blush Crush. Next is Making Mauves, which I don't even know if they stock this one anymore. That's the problem with color stock, right? Color stock, color pop. We know that they can come with concept to production it's a week. They've said that. We know that to be true. But they take four flipping ever to restock. So you think, oh, they've discontinued that palette. And then all of a sudden, there it is. And you've moved on. And you're like, well, crap, I wanted that palette. Luckily, I got this palette right away. But this is definitely a cool tone palette. So um, this kind of borders on warm tone. But you can definitely see how much blue is in this purple, how much blue <laughs> is in this kind of a true mauve. And this one in the middle is kind of like my shirt. It definitely can lean warm or it can lean cool depending on what you're wearing with it. So if you have this one and you have that one, you may not need this. 
for all um, all things Inquinox, this is other also a very cool tone palette. You can see that right there. Um, this color right here, what is that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I honestly don't know what this color is. That's definitely cool, and it also looks like it may have a cousin in this all things taupe. And then of course, this is cool the blues are cool you know most of the purples are cools but again we're talking about more what's considered neutrals rather than you know a color scheme i haven't even used this very very cool and then of course you've got the topes so do you need all of these palettes if you don't own any of these palettes and you want that Stone Cold Fox, which again will be coming in the next week or two, and I'll be sure to share it then, I would suggest, or if you're like, I want the cool tones, but I don't know if I want to buy, you know, the 30 pan palette or if I just want to get one of these 9 pan palettes. If you already own, oh, did I show you Flutterby? No. <laughs> Misty. This is the other one. So this is one of their 12 pen palettes. This is probably one of my most favorite palettes they've ever created. I absolutely love it. And again, it has this color down here, which can lean, it's, for me, it's a bit more neutral. So it has just as much red as it does blue, but it can lean either way that you want it. Again, you don't have to agree with me on that. <laughs> That's okay. It's just my theory. Anyway, so do you need all these palettes to get cool tunes? Absolutely not. I think if you don't own any of these palettes, but you're, you want a cohesive, cool tone neutral palette, I would invest in that Stone Cold Fox palette. I don't know if it's still on sale when I bought it, they were doing that 25% off sale. I don't know if it's still on sale or not. I have a feeling this is gonna be one that sticks around, but I also have a feeling it may be one that sells out pretty quickly. So it's really gonna depend on you. Watch other people's swatches, watching them compare. Um, it's really just gonna depend on you. So if you already have all those palettes, should you get that one or this one? Just get this one. Don't be a misty. Don't be a misty unless you want them all in one palette. Talk when we ever get a chance to travel again, or like if you're traveling for work or you're traveling, you know, for a wedding or something like that. That still, you know, Stone Cold Fox palette would be absolutely perfect because you have a little bit of everything. You've got your kind of cool toned pinks and mauves. You've got cool toned grays and blacks. You've got your cool tone browns, um, so it's very much a cohesive palette, and that way you don't have to travel with 15 different little palettes. That's really what you would want to do with that palette. And the great thing about these palettes from um, ColourPop is they're already magnetic. So you can pull one out, you know, put all your shimmers in one, put your favorite mattes in another. You know, it's really up to you what you do with that. But I think this is a beautiful palette. I think if you love cool tones and you don't already own any, maybe get the Stone Cold Fox. If you already own the rest, maybe just get that this this one. That's taupe. As for the lippies, <laughs> again, <laughs> this is going to completely depend upon you. Are you someone who you think do you think you're going to wear cool tones more often? You know, do you think that this will be something that you want to pair when you're wearing these cool tone browns or, you know, when you're wearing something that's more of a mauve color? Are you someone who likes to kind of coordinate what's on your lips to what's on your eyes? Um, today I picked a more neutral cool tone leaning, leaning blush to go with this eye look. So if you feel like you need this, then maybe this is it. For the Super Stock Shadows, if you're not someone who loves the Super Shock Shadow formula, then I would absolutely stay away from these. But it's absolutely beautiful. If you love this, <laughs> if you love this formula and it's a color scheme that you're really, really interested in, you know, you can just buy the Super Shock Shadows if you don't want the rest of it. It's going to be completely up to you. As far as the Super Shock Cheek Highlighters, what am I going to say? <laughs> This is the shop my stash I pulled, and I pulled Flexitarian. I love this formula. I mean, I have like 40 Super Shock eyeshadows. 
I don't know. I just love this kind of creamy formula and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm dry. My face is dry, 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 and I don't like to wear a lot of powder unless I just want to, you know what I mean? So with these Super Shock cheeks, I can put on one of their cheek tints, throw on a Super Shock shadow, do my eyeshadow and walk out the door without having to worry about a bunch of powdery kick up. And I also like that you can tap this on with your fingers or you can sheer it out with a brush. You can put it on with a sponge. But if you've tried this formula before and you don't like it, then definitely don't get this collection. Just get the, um, You know, just get the pieces that you want. You don't have to invest in the whole entire thing. The lip oil, absolutely. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, I have dry skin. I have dry lips. I'm kind of dry all over my body. And I I love that lip oil. I've actually used it a couple of times now. And I really, really do love it. Um, the glosses, meh. I mean, at the end of the day, they're glossy. If you have a, if you have this or if you have a clear gloss, you don't necessarily need a colored gloss unless you want, you know, something for the reflect, etc. It's completely up to you. But I'm happy with my purchase. I'm excited to get my next purchase. And yeah, so that's it. Do I think this is? Do I recommend this? Yes. Um, do I recommend that you get the whole entire thing? Only if you want the whole entire thing. I don't know how much of a discount it is because honestly it's been a couple of weeks since i purchased it but yeah i'm really excited so yeah let me know down below if you're interested in seeing my cool tone palette collection once that other one gets here and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching make sure that you check out the haul that i posted i don't know which video is going to go up first <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned for more information. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you. I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.